Hey Brian, welcome, welcome buddy. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, feeling better bud, feeling better. I thought I had a feather light. I hope you're doing well buddy, hope your day's going good. last night and slept in late oh dear buddy not good man not good uh, what am I looking for pardon me yeah, pretty mild day yeah. I'm looking for something about eight pounds another eight pound reel. Six point four. Here we go, yeah, the Callisto. Yeah, I'm looking for some fluoro, eight pound fluoro. Here we go. And what's the mission? This one, track mission. So we need a largemouth bass, chain pickerel, grass pickerel, a bowfin, and freshwater drum. Okay. Yeah. And for here, for the drum, uh, one of the Nero's would be fine. I don't think I need a Phoenix for the drum. That'll do. Pound reel, I think. Yeah, that Callisto Sport will do. God, I've just been just been feeling uh, feeling pretty shitty, but feeling better today. Thank you. 
and oh, like one out or one. I'll try a size one to begin with. And have I got? Uh, yeah, I've got some shrimps. Okay, and I think I need. Yeah, somewhere around about there, I think. I was wondering why I didn't see you. Your streams in a while figured out you were under the weather. Yeah, pretty much, buddy. Pretty much. <clears throat> yeah. But it's good. I'm, I'm, I don't think it would have been much uh, entertaining, to be honest. So I thought... I was thinking of streaming on, on, uh, on Wednesday on Twitch. And then even last night, I thought, I'll do a stream, and then I just couldn't bring myself around to doing it, you know, I just wasn't, I just wasn't up for it. So I've got, <clears throat> got a few beers for tonight. Oh no, I used big coins. Oh, it doesn't matter, I suppose. It don't matter. But yeah, feeling a lot better. Feeling a lot better today. Right, what we got? We've got a... Partly cloudy, so we could start at right about 12, I think. So, what have we got to catch? Boss! Pardon me, geez, exploding now. We shall see if the old spots still work after the update. Yeah, there was another update as well. I got a I got an email from Fishing Planet uh, is it yesterday or today? It's either yesterday or today. Asking me to get in touch with them about uh, sponsorship. Asking if I would be interested. Uh, three yeah asking if I would be uh... right large mouth boss I've no idea Brian I've no idea So I'll send them an email, they're wanting some information about my channel. They've obviously seen my my live streams on YouTube. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I think that's what it was about promotion of promoting the game or something like that. I didn't get a chance to read everything. Okay, that was fairly easy. Whoa, what's that? What did I just bump into there? Shadow is so funny.
promote the game maybe on your channel. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, whoa. I'm not, I'm not a big channel. A tiny little channel. But we'll see, we'll see what happens if, you know, if they're... I don't know if it was just like a mass email that they put out to, to everybody that plays Fishing Planet. Whoa, what was that? How is Skillful doing? Haven't heard from him in a bit either. No, yeah, me neither, buddy. Me neither. I've not seen him. I was looking for his stream on Wednesday. And I thought he'd maybe... I thought he'd maybe be streaming tonight. On Twitch, and I was looking for him. So, no, I haven't heard. I hope he's okay. I'll maybe drop him a... A message on Discord, make sure he's okay. Yeah, I've not spoke to him since last Sunday. I know there's been a lot of people uh, been not well with the, with the old man flu or whatever. Hey, that's all right, buddy. That's all right. The new uh, Spain maps out on Monday. I'll maybe, I'll maybe stream some uh, Call of the Wild tomorrow night. In fact, I was in two minds whether to stream that tonight or or do some or do these uh, missions on Fishing Planet. But yeah, I was thinking of. Streaming some uh, Hunter Call of the Wild tomorrow. Yeah, Flint, I think Flinter, Zaggy, and a, a few other uh, the bigger streamers uh, got it early, got it today. I was watching, I was watching a little bit of Flinter, but then I, I saw Zaggy was streaming, so I, I started watching Zaggy on Twitch. excited to get it as well. I think it's Monday it's coming out. I should have brought a bigger rod with me for the bowfin. I'll be, I'll be buying that on Monday. Jordan, welcome buddy.
welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well, Jordan. Yeah, it's been a while, yeah, I know. Well, it's been... It's been... Uh, I think last Saturday I streamed on YouTube. I think I did it anyway. But yes, it's it's been a while, buddy. I've just been a just been a bit under the weather, but feeling better now, guys. Feeling better now. Yeah, I streamed on Twitch on Sunday, Russian fishing four. That's right, so I did. I have been playing the Fisher online, but I've just not been, I've just not been streaming. Is this our chain? Our grass? No, it's not our chain. I've got some premium account on the Fisher online, which it finished last night. So I was trying to get as, uh, as much experience and cash because I'm now in France. DK, welcome, welcome, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Hope all is well with you. So I've been I've been playing a uh, I've been playing about the Fisher online, but uh, I was just not in any mood to. And then of course I'm still not level fifty on the Fisherman yet. I did a little bit last night, but I still I was still not feeling all that great. In fact, I was talking to uh, DK last night on. The fisherman. DK says been trying Pike Hunt three today. Nice one, buddy. How you getting on? Misaka, welcome, welcome to the stream, buddy. I hope your day is going well. Dickie says, not good, I'll never finish. Never fish for Pike and Sander yet. You need to go to the boat dock, DK, and her head head towards the industrial head towards the big crane on the left hand side, buddy. <coughs> In Germany. So head towards the boat dock and then 
or, or go to the boat dock, get in your boat and then head towards the, the crane and park about 200 metres off the shore and cast towards the crane. Yeah, you're right, Brian. Yeah, that's where the pike are there. At, yeah. In front. Oh, come on, go, that was rubbish. <clears throat> And then up, up two bar again by the down at the, the boat dock. Just cast straight out. Put fish on the bottom or otherwise if you fish sort of mid water or top water you'll get uh, you'll get young. You'll get young northern pike. But if you fish on the bottom you'll get you'll get the big ones there. Like I said, Germany is horrible for pike, but I get them in the boat near the factories that are left. Yeah, yeah, Masaka. Yeah. That's the place to get them, guys. Time of grass, eh? Hey, yeah, grass picker over after. Nah, it's a, it's a large mouth bass, I think. Yeah, a little fella. Brian says I troll Russia for pike with thirty, thirty inch. Crank around the dock area, yeah. I think you've. I can't remember what you've got to use now. You've got. Is it a. Yeah, it's a crank bait as well for Pike Hunt 3. Yes, Misaka, yeah, definitely, buddy. I'll, I'll be buying that on Monday. Jumped by a pack of wolves, yeah. Yeah, I've been jumped a few times in the Yukon by wolves. Chain. Oh, wow, where's the grass? Yeah, Masaka. I, I was actually going to play some Hunter Call of the Wild tonight, and I thought, you know what, I just fancy doing something a bit more relaxing. But I'll stream it tomorrow night, guys. I'll stream me. Uh... I know you guys quite enjoyed my uh, Hirschfelden, so I'll, I'll either I'll do I'll do one of the the maps tomorrow. don't have any of the DLC for Call of the Wild except first trophy lodge. Okay buddy. If you're if you're ever gonna buy any DLCs Masaka, make sure you get the Solokin. 
the the Nagat. Make sure you get that weapon spark. I can't remember. I think it's, it's weapon spark two. Make sure you get that gun. That is probably the best gun in Call of the Wild. Masaka. It's a must. It definitely is a must. That gun is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Oh yeah, I remember buddy, I remember you talking about that a month or so ago. Well, I hope you get your money back, man. Yeah, thinking of getting the Yeah, you've got to get the Mosin. It is such a good gun. And the crossbow as well, but I think that's Weapon Spark 1. But the, the crossbow is, is really, if you want to do some ninja stealth stuff. The crossbow is such a, such a good weapon as well. But the, for me, my favourite, my favourite gun is uh, the Mosin Nagat, definitely. This time, guys. The, no, it's another chain. It is such a, it is such a powerful weapon. So, because the yeah, on strike for Prussian planet. Yeah, quite right, man. Quite right. I thought you would have had that sorted out by now. Okay, you've got the crossbow. The crossbow. It, it's. It's probably my second, second favourite weapon on Hunter Call of the Wild. Bryce is the crossbow's lethal, yeah it is. And the reload animation on it guys, come on, it's just off the chart. It's so sick, that reload animation for the crossbow. And it comes with that scope as well. It's just, it's just an awesome piece of kit. But the the Mosin, the Mosin Nagat is definitely Masaka. You've got to man. You've got to try it out. It is the crossbow is just, it's as, it's just as nuts as the Mosin. It really is. Oh, definitely, definitely Masaka. Yay! The last. Right, we'll try. We'll try the drum. We're not in the right time for for drum normally. Fish for them at a different time. Uh, no, not here. Yeah, we'll try for the four. Is it? Yeah. Uh, where? Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. This one, I don't think it matters. Somewhere around about there, I think. Yeah, the Mosin blows away the 243 and the 270. Definitely, Masaka. Definitely. I, I never use the 243 anymore. Never use it. Mosin has soft point bullets, so it's more forgiving on straight on shots, single lung, etc. Where do you get the drum at Mudwater? Here, buddy. Just where I cast it. Let it drift down. Yeah, the Mosin with the uh, 
mean, it's it's seven point six two, so effectively, it's you know, it's a three oh eight. You can't get polymer tips with the uh, with the Mosin. It's only they only sell it in soft point. But trust me, Masaka, you'll not need you don't you don't need polymer tips with the with the uh, with the Mosin. And it's such a sweet sound as well. It's just. just it's just a beautiful, it really is, it is, there we go guys, <clears throat> it is the best gun, yeah I mean it's, it's 7.62 so effectively it's a 308, let's see if we can get a trophy. In 7.62 millimeter equates to 0 0.308 of an inch. The gar spot is is over there, buddy. Where my rod's pointing. Between that log there and, and that log. Yeah, over here. Gar. There. And there. In between there. I'll just try to be greedy and get a get a trophy freshwater drum. Whoa, whoa. Build. So what I've got left a both in. Catch a both in. can't remember. I think I've got something. I'm not sure if it was... Yeah, I think I did, Misaka. I think I did. At Lancey Villa. That was on the fisherman. I don't think they're in the right time for a trophy drum. They added that fish here now. The Euro weather fish, right? Okay. Both and went for the the shrimps either. Oh well, that's that done then. I 
Well, the water trail done. Great job. Okay. Right, what next then, guys? What's the next one? Rocky. Golden Shiner. Blue Girl. Black Crappy. A white boss and a white sucker. Alright, okay. Emerald. T bar. Everglades. A Wormouth. Have I ever caught one of them? Oscar. Brown Bullhead. Ready or so. So it's all panfish then, is it? DK says, nice one, Cove. Thanks, Brian. DK says, taking a break from missions. Okay, buddy. Remember when Alligator Gar were at Mudwater? Yes, I do, buddy. I do. That was a while back. Hello, Bueno. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Thanks for dropping by. So where's the white boss in at Rocky Lake? And white suckers as well, I've got no idea. But anyway, let's let's see if I've got all the right Let's leave here then, guys. Hey, Sabi. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to the stream. DK says, going for some uni pike. Quite right, buddy. Quite right, DK. Hope all was well with you, Sabi. I did see that you were, uh, that you were on. You were fishing, uh, White moose. I think. Were you practicing for the for the pike? So anyway, back to right track mission, Rocky Lake. Right, golden shiner, blue gill. Okay, it should be straightforward. Crappy, straightforward. White boss, not sure, but yeah, and the white sucker, not sure. Right, let's see what we've got. Okay, big crawlers, we've got blood worms. I'm not sure what the white suckers or the, the white boss go for. Yeah, Sabi, yeah. Yeah, buddy, practice for quality one. Yeah, I thought that. I, when I seen you were at White Moose Lake, I thought, yeah, I know why you're there. And he's practicing for the, uh, for the Northern Pike. How did you get on? Dough balls for sucker and boss. Dough balls for suckers and boss. Right, buddy. Thanks for that. I got dough balls. Do I have dough balls? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Take some peat though as well. Why not? On oh, some terra barley. I'll throw that in as well. Semi-line of balls, some of that. Yeah. Crickets, grasshoppers, what was it we've got to catch again? Golden Shiner, Blue Girl, Crappie. Wait, what's white sucker? Okay. I think we're pretty. Oh, what hook sizes have I got with me? Right, 
Oh, I need some smaller hooks. one of these rods out. Right, right, I think I'm ready. Take the fish species for sucker and bass baits. Night crawlers, small meadows. Okay, nano spoons, nano spoons, shards, grubs, and tubes. Okay, no white sucker, marshmallows and semolina balls, okay. Marshmallows and semolina balls, so I probably don't need pearl barley with me. I've got semolina balls. I don't think I've got any marshmallows, have I? Oh yeah, I have. And then what was for night crawlers, small minnows? I've got nano spoons, I've got nano spoons. I haven't got any shards or grubs with me. guys Yeah. 
He's got some serious stuff going on there. Cast him in bed, yes, buddy. Yep. Yeah. Holy shit, what's this? Straightforward enough, jeez. Yes, Brian, yes, buddy, yes. I've seen a. Uh, I watched Salvi's video on that. Yeah, I've, that's something I've got to do, guys, is that angling machine. To get the. Uh, is it the the one ounce uh, boss jig? Got to got to do that. Centimeters deep for panfish. All right, buddy. About Twenty centimeters. So that's what. A black crappie. Wow. I was expecting to go for the crappie over there to the left. Yeah, there's a few guys here. Of course, this is a uh, fishing planet. Right, it's in eight inches, okay, buddy. Brian says, yeah, I remember. I remember, uh, Brian, you mentioned that before. You found it easier with a bottom rod and rod holder. I'm bad at quick striking. Yeah, my quick striking is is pretty horrendous to be honest. I should uh, I should change the time of day as well. To be honest, guys, I'm fishing early morning on a. On a partly cloudy. God, I'm such a noob at this game sometimes. Perfect time to go get another beer, guys. I'll be right back. Hang on.
Right guys, thanks for thanks for waiting. Right, let me catch up there. Let me get this in the water first. Hey Charles, welcome to the stream, buddy. I hope you've had a good day. Yeah, well, it's good. Thank you. Thank you. As I said, feeling, feeling much better now, guys. I mean, I'm still not at le level 50 on, on the fisherman. I need to, uh, I need to get my finger out on that game. <clears throat> Pretty good, Charles says. Yeah, good buddy. Good to hear that you're uh, doing okay. Always feeling better with a beer in hand. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But yeah, tomorrow night, guys, I'll do some Hunter Call of the Wild. And then the new maps coming out on on Monday. So I'll buy that and I'll maybe, I'll maybe stream a bit of that on Monday night. DK says it hasn't touched a beer yet, well... <laughs> Don't sell anything, DK. Don't sell anything, buddy. <clears throat> Okay, it's the blue girl and the white boss to go. Sabi, what's the best place here for the white boss, buddy? Get an itchy DK off. <laughs> Bryce is mine, that bus ride really did a number on you, DK. <laughs> Sabi, do you have Contacts on Fishing Planet. I got charged premium and, I, and didn't ask for it and they are not responding. Oh man, you suck. I, th I thought you would have got that sorted out by now, buddy. So I, I would just keep on contacting them. I mean, they've, they've got to reply to you. They can't just ignore you. Not to mention that I went on sale for half price a day or two later, Masaka. Half price for a year, man. Yeah, no, that's a lot of bucks. That's a lot of bucks to be taken out of your account, Masaka. As I said, I would just keep keep contacting them, buddy. As I said, they can't ignore you. Cutthroat trout spot. Okay, sorry. He says bus ride was great, but morning after did me in. Oh, I can imagine. I can remember years and years ago, guys, I got pissed at my eyeballs on vodka and fresh orange. It must have been 30 years ago, and I have never touched a drop of vodka since. Because for two days, I was just so ill. 
I'm not much of a spirit drinker, anyway. I stick to my beer. I'm quite happy with beer. And another time on that wild turkey stuff. Jesus. I know that's whiskey, but it's it's not Scottish whiskey. Jeez. Wild turkey. Yeah. Fuck that, guys. Fuck that. Never drink, never drink that stuff. Jesus. <sighs> that scarred me for life. That wild turkey, jeez. Tequila, yeah, I can cope. I can cope with some tequila, but as I said, I'm not. I'm not a big spirit drinker, not unless it comes to a, like a single malt, and I don't have that very often. Yeah, I can cope with tequila, Brian. I do like gin and tonic as well. I, I do like the Bombay Sapphire. That's a really nice gin. In fact, when I come home from Spain this year, I, I bought a bottle of Bombay Sapphire in the duty free and I've, I've not had any of it yet. It's still down the stairs. But I'll stick to my scrumpy jack, guys. That's me, I'm quite happy with my scrumpy jack. Scrumpy Jack or Henry Weston's probably the the two ciders that I drink. No, oh, come on, what's going on here, man? Come on, fish. Crappy log, okay, buddy. Yeah, because there's nothing, nothing happening there. It's normally a pretty good spot, that is, though. There we go. We'll try this spot anyway. We'll give it a we'll give it a go for a bit for the old bluegill. Put a cricket on you, I'll catch bluegill instantly. I don't think I've got any crickets with my channels. Let's have a look. Did I bring crickets with me? No, I've got grasshoppers. Got flies. Got flies. It sounds like it's something you need to go see a doctor about. <laughs> uh, well, doctor, I've got flies. <laughs> Put the candy pumpkin on your catch it rather fish that you're after. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> yes, DK. Come on, get off of there. Better than crabs, lol. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely, Brian. Definitely, buddy. <laughs> Oh, man. 
I don't think I've got any candy with me either, DK. But yeah, I, I know, I know what you mean, buddy. I know I'm with you on that one. Let's try this spot again, guys. I do have a, a tiny little bit of that single malt whiskey that my that my wife bought me uh, for my birthday in, uh, in October, so gonna have a, a little bit of that as well tonight. But yeah, I think the Christmas Giant tournament's next week as well, I think. I think registration it was in Monday or Tuesday, I think. I'll see if I'll do any better than I did last year. I didn't qualify for the semi last year. Right, so it's 17th for the tourney, okay. So that'll be the week after then, not next week, but the week after. God, it's it's getting close to Santa time. And it's cold as well, cold and miserable here in Scotland. DK says, got some spicy beef sticks today. <laughs> nice one, DK. Nice one. Charles says, I started practicing a little today. Nice one, buddy. Nice one. I think the frog popper's the, the king for for qualifier one for the, uh, for the Northern Pike. I think. If I remember... Right last year, the uh, there was a there was a bug in the game, and your frog popper didn't work. It kept on zooming away behind you. If I remember, if I remember from that tournament last year, guys, that's a year gone by already. Man, where's the time go? Come on, fish, let's try something else. The blood worms are normally pretty good, but come on, I'm on this load. Have I brought any maggots with me? Let's try some flies. Didn't even bring any maggots with me. Charles says, I remember that happening back then. Yeah, Charles, it did. But I think the, the frog popper's the way to go for the Northern Pike. Brian says, has to be over £10 to qualify. Okay, that, that's a it's trophy, isn't it? £10. Up there at White Miss. Is that a trophy, guys? I'm not 100% not sure.
<laughs> Let Trout is best go for the giant steel, not winter fight to. Oh, I'm even fucking sorry guys, I'm thinking about the wrong the wrong tournament. God, I've had too many beers already. And Sabi there with a smiley face. Thanks guys, I know you guys will keep me right. I know you will keep me right. I need to watch my stream back from last year. So what's the heavy chaser like? Eh, just like the cut boxer, buddy. I'd stick with your... Oh, this will be a trout or something. Yeah, I kind of thought that. <sighs> Putting flies on here is probably a bad idea. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste your money on the, on the heavy chaser, DK. I'd stick with your cut boxers. Nine meters. I can't remember and I was just there I was catching a lot of trophies in Alberta with the blade spinner okay buddy I watched a little of last year's third qualifier from you this morning okay buddy third qualifiers in Florida is it I remember it's the uh, it's at the red drum Yep, okay. <laughs> well, at least I got that one right. <laughs> oh dear. One beef stick makes you sweat. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Sabi. Right, what was it for this white boss? Let's have a look. Crawlers. I've got night crawlers with me. Night crawlers are small minnows. Yeah, tarpon snook and red drum, okay. I knew there was I knew there was red drum in there but I couldn't remember if the tarpon or the, the snook were were uh, included as well. 
But I, I remember fishing that competition thinking, where do I fish for red drum? I know where to fish for the tarpon and the, and the snook. Brian says, I'm going to need to build a uh, schedule for giants to our best fish at which times, yeah. Well, pretty much, I mean, they're, they're all good at night. I mean, the, the tarpon should be called the troll pin. Because that, that fish does troll you. It's, you can only catch that fish at specific times and... I've not got my, my notes opened at Florida, but... Now, I think I should be using a bigger hook for these white bass, because I'm sure they take a bigger hook. Alright, okay, Brian. Been thinking of qualifier two at Saint Croix. So we qualifier two. See, I can't remember. I, I'm. I don't know why I was thinking Northern Pike at, at White Moose. Yeah, if I'm right, you could use any any. Uh, I mean, let's change the hook size on this. You can use any uh, setup that you want. There's no restrictions on whether to use a, or what type of rod to use. Let's use, let's use a one hour hook here. I'm sure these white bars have got a big gob on them. Yep, any setup, yep. Okay, Brian. So I think, right, okay, I think I would use, if it's lake trout, then I would use, I would use a bottom rod with large minnows for quality one. A hundred and sixty feet out. But rod stands, you can't use a rod stand. What's this guy doing? What's this guy? Okay, Charles is saying that is where I, I am at the at the moment. Saint Croix, I fish. I fish there more than the other. I'm hoping I do well there too. Oh, okay, buddy. Can I go up another one? Yeah. I've never bought and fished for lake trout. Need to watch Sabi's video. I ah, yeah, I've got a live stream out there for the July bottom fishing for lake trout as well, buddy. I think I caught two back-to-back -back unis. They uh, that put me into the uh, into the semis. Oh, this is a trout, is it? Yeah. Throw, stop it. Everyone knows Saint Croix. 
Though that's the, the problem, yeah, everybody does know St. Croix. That's a money spot, guys, St. Croix. Okay, cool, we'll check it out too. As always, nice one, Brian, thanks, buddy. I'm sure it was bottom. Large minnows. 160 feet. I'm sure it was 160 feet where I was constantly getting getting fish. Charles says Everglades would be the best using that logic because everyone knows where the, the lake trout are long. Yeah, you're right there, Charles, yeah. Everyone knows where the... The cuts of uni lake trout. Yeah, you're right there, Brian, yeah. Yeah, lake trout is just RNG. Yeah, of course it is, I mean, it is. If you've got a, a decent bit of RNG, you know what I mean? But it always seems to be, you know, my guys, I know I keep bang on about this. It always seems to be the same people. You know, I know I know they put a lot of a lot of effort and a lot of practice and stuff into it, you know. And and quite deservedly they should reap the the, the rewards from that, you know, but it's constantly the same people. What's with the cutthroats? Stop it. Give me white bass. Yeah, look out for snogs at White Miss. Definitely DK. Charles says, I'm always, I'm already playing. Can't speak now, I had some whiskey. I'm already praying to RNGs as low. Well. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Charles. Look out for snogs at White Miss, says DK. Yes, yeah, I've lost. I've lost a lot of uh, uh, lures to the mountains over the over the, the time I've fished at White Moose. Hey Classical, welcome to the stream buddy. I hope all is well with you man. I hope you're good. I did watch your uh, Hunter Call of the Wild on a... Uh... Oh man, what was the reserve? On oh, Medved Diga, buddy. You're going after the piggies, God, getting everything, but... But white boss, Medved, yeah, yeah, the well boar, yeah. Yeah, thanks for helping me out there.
What happened to your audio? Just had a notification, I'm now live on YouTube, okay. Yeah, you've got another wild boat to get though, buddy. You've got to go finish the mission. I think he says it happened to me a few times where I've got a snug and got unsnugged and then pulled. Then I can get pulled across the lake, yeah, buddy, yeah. Stop it. I didn't know these uh, trout were biting on night crawlers. God, I'm catching everything but, but white boss. Okay, Savvy, we'll do next cast, buddy. Yeah, I just see what we got it and everything, but the uh, for the white boss. Brian says, was thinking of resetting an account on Call of the World to do all the missions again. Kind of bored with it. Okay, bud, yeah. I finished that season of my Trophy Lodge quest. Next season is Loronga Savannah. Classical says, Brian Anders, they have side missions. I'm done with all the missions Classical have been for months. Classical's asking how many story missions are on Leighton on Hirschfeld and Brian says, can't remember Classical a lot. Yeah, there is. I believe there's still stuff to do after completing all missions. Brian says, yeah, I'm hunting for diamonds and gold for lodge blocks, okay. Just bought weapons pack two wow on the Mosin. Oh you'll love it. You'll love it, Misaka. The Mosin is my favourite gun in Hunter Call of the World. That gun is it's off the scale guys. It really is.
for it being a weapons class two rifle, it's 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 fucking nuts, man. It really is. It's absolutely nuts. You'll never use you'll never use the two seventy or the two four three again, guys. Lightning and Hirschfeld then are the only two I don't have the main story missions done. Okay, Glasgow. I know, right, Mosin is good, yes, bro. It is it's the best gun. It's the best gun in Hunter Call of the World. And I throw the gauntlet down and say that guys, you know. Glass was it. I like the 30 odd six better. Even though I'm using the 338 champion now, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, but the, the 30 or 6 is his weapons class 3, isn't it? But you could still take the black tail with the 30 or 6. Misaka says, yeah, I've seen that. And I just started using the 270, which is our class up. Yeah, you'll, you'll never use a 270 or a 243 again if you've got the Mosin. The Mosin is just... It's such a good gun. Such an accurate gun as well. White tail with a 30 odd 6. Yes, but what about the the black tail? You, you could you can do the black tail with a thirty odd six. Masaka says, "Wow, what have I been missing?" Yeah, Masaka, definitely, man. It's nuts, guys. It is absolutely nuts. Oh, so he's still getting to hundred percent integrity on the white tail. Yeah, with a thirty odd six, okay. No, not black tail with integrity. Is that with the 30 or 6, Brian? You only get 100% on black tail if you hit the lungs or heart. Well, that's where. That's 99% with where you're going to aim your shots. I'm sure you can use the 30 or 6 on, on black tail, Brian. I'm sure you can't. I'm sure they fixed it. I'm sure they changed it. Yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought that classical. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, I'm sure I shot Black Tail with a thirty odd six. And got a hundred percent integrity with it. Yeah, I think I double longed it. Would you use a drilling rifle on dinosaurs? The drilling rifle is actually quite good. Misaka. It's actually quite good. I normally use it on the... Uh, what do I use the drilling on? Normally the bears. Brian says drilling good for red deer and goose in our felt. <laughs> Yeah, you could use the drilling on uh, on reindeer as well. for two animals makes it a nice load out there yeah but it does yeah it's good for red deer as well yeah you're right I've not used a lot of the the drilling rifle
You can shit them Glasgow, but I guarantee you don't get in debt. You do, Brian. You do with a 30 odd six. Oh, not not with the black tail, sorry. No, white tail you do. Sabi says, put down the omni float to rod stand and try it. Have I got a rod stand with me? Go to menu while it's in the rod stand. Right, white blast, nano spoon, nano spinner, tubes and grubs. So oh, fuck off, Sabi, and I got a feeder rod with me. Oh yeah, I have as well. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, man, I'm dissing you. Two feeder rods with me. Well, not feeder rods, but I've got two bottom <laughs> rods. <laughs> All right, Savvy. Oh, what's going on here? This way, if I go six.
It's a flying trout, I think. Yep. Right, oh, we're getting this trout over there, so fuck off. Oh, I don't know, guys. I've never fished for. If I was, if I was wanting to fish for a white bass, I would always go to St. Croix. It's three years old. Yeah, yeah, three. Sat <laughs> so low with a cart boxer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm fishing with what I brought with me, Savvy. <laughs> Not 100% in integrity. <laughs> oh, guys. He's cracked me up, man. He's cracked me up. Oh, I'm catching this fucking trout. Alright, oh, stop beeping as well. Alright, okay. All right, okay, it's back on again. <sighs> what's what's the deal with it? With the the trout on the night crawlers? Let's try up here. Not 100% integrity or cutthroat with a cart box. So. No, not not really, Brian. Not really. everything out guys. Dry maggots. And I got maggots from this Abby. I'll see if the shop's got some. <laughs> oh dear. They don't eat maggots. According to the wiki. They said they like night crawlers. Red worms too maybe. Yeah maybe. <laughs> Let's check. <laughs> oh, gotcha and everything. Have I got a boss jig with me? I don't know if I've got a boss jig with me. I could try that though. Let's have a look. But see, if you go here and it says white boss. Nightcrawlers, crawlers, small minnows, nano spoon, nano spoon, shards, grubs, and tubes. Well, I've got no shards, grubs, or tubes with me. Like, have I, have I got a boss jig with me? No, I haven't. Did you get maggots from this sh shop? Nope. Get cricket, so. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I might just give up on this and do the next one. Shard, yeah, I'm not. I've not got. I've not got shards or that with me. Sorry.
Yeah, I've got a narrow spoon. Try a narrow spoon. This is it, guys, definitely. This is it. It's a winner. Oh. <laughs> Spoon with me. Yeah, I've got a few. I'll try this over one. I'll leave this here. Uh, well, let's make it. We can fish them from here. No oh, man, it's just trout city here. It's just trout city. Casting spoon, I mean, guys, these are. Yeah, I mean, I'll... yeah, I've got casting spoons. But the, the trout are just going to eat everything. be dark in a minute. For white boss lol, yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hi, Drew. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> There's no way that's a white boss. No, I know it's not. Right, okay. Gaston spoon or medium spoon. Arrow spoons or yeah. Let's see what I've got with me. We can always we can always try like the trophy cost that's bit no oh, it's too heavy for the rod, I can't use that.
Brian says, hey Cove, I finally won a daily comp after daily comp the other day, then won a second one not long after that. Woot woot, yeah, nice one, buddy. I've never won a daily, guys, never won. I've come second, I've come second. I've not, to be honest, I've not entered many of them. I, I prefer the monthly tournaments than the, the daily ones. But I do have a second. Not as good as, as first though, to be honest. God, we're throwing everything out, guys, to get this fucking white boss. Jesus. Oh, this is st you could tell it's just a st stupid deal. <sighs> Rainbow Trout that launched themselves out of the water. Get it there. That's a spot. I can't believe that they was trying to go after Nightcrawlers as well. I mean, I think everything really goes after. But yeah, we're not having much, cut, much luck catching this white boss. Beep. Brian says I caught sweet boss in the one by one call near crappy log for the bottom set up number eight hoop box leader. Could try one there as well. Number eight hook. I've got a number eight hook with me. I know white boss. I've got a big. Could do a number ten hook. Could try that. I knew that, it's just a big snag fest area, that. Is there a bet that they, that they hit but Trout don't? Seemingly not, Musaka. Seems 
Seemingly the uh, the trout the trout like the night crawlers as well. And also the golden shiners, <laughs> like night crawlers. Fucking hell, guys. Yeah, it's getting a bit stupid now. Fuck <laughs> popper. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't know. As I say, I've never fished for the uh, the white boss here before. You know, I have caught them, but not fished for them. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, it's just... Uh, it's just madness. You know... We all know that if you're wanting white boss, you go to St. Croix. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Oh, at last. Oh man, on a cart boxer as well, who would have believed it? Crazy. Thanks very much, Brian. Just just as it got dark as well. <laughs> oh dear. I'm gonna have on some hooks as well. Right, let's put that away. No, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. See, I'm pressing black space. Right, what have we got here? Thanks, Drew. Thanks, Savvy. <laughs> oh, that was... I mean, come on, guys. That was desperate. Throwing, throwing everything out there. The cart boxers and everything. <laughs> now get us out of here, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's time, time to get out of here, guys. We'll see what the next one is. Maybe they're more attractive at night. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, you're possibly right there, Savvy. No, that's not what I wanted. Stop it. I mean, everybody's attractive at night after a few beers, you know what I mean? <laughs> Flock out of here. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to take a bathroom break and grab myself another beer, I think. Let's see what the next mission is Emerald Lake. So, travel to Emerald, Pumpkin Seeds, Common Shiner, Golden Shiner, Blunt Nose Minnow, Yellow Perch, the Black Crappie. Okay. Alright. <laughs> give me give me two minutes guys and I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, thanks for thanks for waiting. Right, little comments. So, uh, thanks, classical. DK says you have a lot more experience ones, more exploring ones than I do. Uh, Brian says, Fishing Planet added these in free to play version last update. DK says, Okay, I'm sure it will come to the fisherman soon. Yeah, I'm sure it will, Brian. Along with the new bait system on American waterways. Oh, yeah, I know, man. Right, Emerald. Pumpkin, come and shine our golden shine our bluntness, man. It was yellow perch. Black crappy, so let's let's take some more bits with us. I don't need I don't think I need dough balls. I don't think I need marshmallows. Torpedo. That sounds wrong. Eh. Have I not even got any? Yeah, I've got maggots. Maggots. And wax worms. And red worms. Savvy says, Brian, no, no, oh god, yeah, I know. I'm Dollar, welcome, welcome to the stream, buddy. I'm Dollar saying, hiya, Kobay, checked hashtag fishing planet on PS4 some days ago and nothing new update yet, okay, alright buddy, still waiting on the Mississippi location they promised us in November, that's why I'm grinding, still grinding in Fallout 76, Brian says hello, hang Dollar. <laughs> Yeah, I hope that update doesn't, doesn't come with the fishermen, but yeah, I'm sure it will, guys. I'm sure it will. But good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, Heimdallar. Good to see all the locals, all the local guys back in again. It's, it's good to see that. Good to see you, guys. Good to see. And I thank you. I thank you a lot. Thank you a lot, guys, for coming and watching me speaking a lot of shit and playing some fishing games. Nicky says new bite system. Yes, there's a new bite system now in this game. So we need to go to Emerald, guys. Get a license. I think I've got everything. Blunt nose, blood worms, red worms. Yeah, we've got that. We need a crappie as well. Nano spoon, nano spinners, tubes and grubs. Yeah, but we've got for the crappie, it should do all right with the. Uh, I mean, if I fish for cla clappy, crappie. <laughs> Crappy, I use leeches. Shiner, dough balls, semi-liner balls. Now I'm sure they'll bite on red worms. Dough balls. Did I pass the semi-liner balls? I think I've still got that with me, haven't I? Yeah, 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 right. Ain't dollar saying level 287 on Fallout 76 day. Oh, I hope you're not, I hope you're not trolling on it, buddy. I hope you're not nuking people. <laughs> Free to play version is nerfed because they need to sell the DLCs, yes, I agree, Sabi, definitely. I 
I don't know, Sabi, have you been contacted by Fishing Planet? Because I, I did, I got an email from them asking me to contact them about getting sponsorship on the free to play version. They need to sell future of us if you bust out your eyeballs law. I'm sure I will get a little bit pissed tonight, DK. But I'm not pissed at my eyeballs yet, buddy. The new, alright, okay, sorry, I'm with you. The new cell feature, I've asked if you're pissed at your eyeballs, well, I'm with you now, buddy. Yeah, right, what we got? We've got a rainy day. Oh, great. Let's just go fishing, guys. <laughs> DK, that's just for you, buddy. That's exclusively for you, that new feature, man. Right, what do I need to get? Pumpkin seed. says true love yeah it was just we never got that that a uh, update dk it was just you <laughs> oh man can we not go to another oh, i can't i can't check now Perch, pumpkin seed. Classical says I'm going for tonight. See you. Take care, Classical. Thanks for dropping by, buddy. I'm sure I'll catch up with you uh, pretty soon. Uh, keep putting those videos on live stream out, bud. DK says the, the grey wolf skulls scares me on Call of the Wild. Ah, you'll be fine, DK. Heimdallar saying, I'm a nice guy on Fallout 76, unlike many. Yeah, I know, there's, I've heard there's been... Uh, there's been a lot of griefing on uh, Fallout 76 Heimdallr. Uh, that some players have found a way to kill other players, even although I mean, I'm not 100% sure about the, the mechanics of the game, but I know there's been some way players have been griefing other players. 
by is it poisoning food or something like that? I can't remember. I give stuff away for free to people under my level to help them out. Okay, nice one. Legendary stuff to me. Okay, nice one, Heimdall. The grey wheel scares me on. Okay, DK. Getting chased by buffaloes gets a bit stressful too, DK. Yeah, it is a bit, Brian. Okay, Sabi. Thanks for thanks for dropping by, buddy. You take care. It's always a pleasure to have one of the fishing gods in your stream. Take care, Sabi. Yeah, Brian. Buffalo are savage. Yeah, the buffalo are savage. I should sort out a mute button for for my mic. I think he says a grey wheel fuck how I was hoping that the lion would. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, yeah, it's still getting it's still getting over this cold. Right, there's nothing happening at that spot, guys. Let's try Let's try here. <sighs> yeah, and I've got wolves on the on the new map as well, which is which, which looks interesting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the 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 uh, mouflon and oh, I'm trying to remember what the other one is now. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I mean, I, I wish they had something like that here in Scotland, but unfortunately we are a red deer. Red deer, roe deer. There is some fallow here, but not many. But red deer and roe deer. Got a lot of roe deer. I mean, I, I live on the northeast coast of Scotland, and there's a lot of roe deer round about me. I mean, there's many times I, I can look at my window in the morning and I see roe deer milling around. I've not got the rights to shoot on the land here. Dicky says, was doing missions today and ran into a pack of eight. Got four of them, no nice one, Dicky. Heimdall is still one fishing planet god in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose, buddy, yeah, the richest man in fishing planet. Though I'm not playing as much as I did before, yeah, Heimdall. Do red deer half horns like in the game? Yes, they do, Brian. Yep. Yep, definitely. Definitely. I've only ever shot two stags in my life. They are uh, 
they are expensive to shoot here in Scotland, very expensive. Yes, but they do. They do have uh, they do have horns like that. Dicky said, so there's a new reserve coming. Yes, Dicky, where have you been, man? Well, you've been living under a rock, buddy. It's coming out Monday. It's coming out on Monday, DK. It's a new Spanish reserve, DK. It's got Ibex, Mouflon. European hair, European wolf, I think, or Iberian wolf, something like that. Roe deer, red deer, wild boar, but there's like four species of mouf, uh, ibex and one species of mouflon, I think. Yeah, it does, it does look cool, at least different. It's certainly different from the rest of the reserves, that's for sure, Brian. And there's a new weapon that comes with it as well, a 6.5mm. That sounds sweet as well, it does sound really sweet. Sunny day, about 1pm. So, oh, I can't, oh, you can't go past. Oh, it's some cloudy day now. Wait, wait a minute. See, this is what pisses me off about this game sometimes. It said here it was going to be a sunny day the next day. Or maybe I was looking at the wrong thing. So it's not a, it's not a cloudy day. Okay. Let's try it back over here. Tiki says, haven't got it on PC much this week, been spending time with the family, haven't seen for a while. Oh, Alright buddy, okay. No worries man, no worries bud. I wasn't, I wasn't calling you out or anything. Mouflon is like a ram, DK, if you didn't know. I didn't know before today. Yeah, it's, it's a variant of a sheep. Sheep? Brilliant. Yep. Yeah. It's been nice, but wish was for a different reason. Okay. All right, DK. DK says thanks, Brian. God, I'm fishing with a too big a hook. That's why.
Charles says hang in there, DK. <laughs> And all says, speaking of horns, my new fit, my new outfit in Fallout 76 has it. One of the most rare in the game. Okay, buddy. Okay, I, I, I know nothing about Fallout 76, to be honest, buddy, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're doing. You're obviously putting a lot of time and effort into it, so you're obviously enjoying it, so so GG to you buddy. GG. Cancer sucks, oh DK man, got papers for the court date on Tuesday. Oh DK. Hope all goes well man. Thoughts are with you, buddy. Thoughts are with you. Wishes from across the pond, man. Wishes from across the pond. Trophy as well, wow. Trophy crappy. Right, pumpkin seed. Surprised with that guy, surprised, very surprised. At least we don't have to put up with that rain. Jeez, that was so annoying. But I don't have to struggle with the pain anymore. Oh, nice DK. Nice one, buddy. Nice. Ten dollars says thanks, buddy. Yep. Yeah. Having a few beers? Definitely, man. Friday night, man. Friday night, gotta have a few beers. Misaka hasn't mentioned Gobi today. I hope he's feeling alright. Yeah, you're right, Brian. <laughs> he hasn't. <laughs> I'm sure he will though, I'm sure he will, he's gobby daft. Another trophy black crappy, wow. Right, I'm gonna, gonna change up here guys. I'm gonna change the bait here, because I'm not wanting it. Excuse me, man. Well, yeah, they haven't put the, the Unigobi in yet. <laughs> I'm on strike till they put that in. I want them to remove the friggin' eels on Beluga. Yeah, you're possibly right there, my sorta. Or Gobi competition, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, just slip on my beer. Dicky said there's a, a 
petition for me to get custody, so that's what I'm reading. Tuesday should be oh, good. Well, good luck to you, buddy. Good luck to you, man. Good luck. I hope, I hope all goes well on Tuesday. Oh, come on. More crappy. Alright, let's try over here. God, when you want to cut crappy here, you never normally get them. as well. Right. Crappy set you over there. Charles so said, yeah, good to hear DK, yeah. Brian saying you can catch a lot of small fish off the dock to in the right corner. Yeah, it's just where I went, buddy. It's just where I went. <clears throat> yeah, guys, I mean I hope DK gets gets it all sorted out. Oh no. A trophy pumpkin seed as well, man. Jeez. Come and shine our next. <laughs> Golden shiner. Blunt nose minnow. Oh, good go, go. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, we, we all know certain things in this game. You know what I mean? I don't know everything about this game. I'm not a, a, a fishing planet god like uh, Sabi and Heimdallr and, and uh, Krellick and, and all the other guys I could, I could call out, you know, but... I know little bits and pieces of it. Enough to get me by, guys. Enough to get me by. You know, it's... I really love this game. I really do. Whether it's whether it's Fishing Planet or the Fisherman. Sarkis is nice. That's why I'm talking about all the pumpkin seeds. <laughs> All right, Masaka, I'm with you, buddy. I'm with you. Go be an X, man. We'll get a go be an X. <laughs> so, the Hunter Call of the Well tomorrow, guys. I'll stream that tomorrow, so... Nasaka says, what do you like best? Russian Fishing 4, Fishing Planet, The Fisherman, or the Russian... Bleah, come on, go. We'll start again. What do you like best? Wait a minute, I need to go back. Sorry, Nasaka, I'll answer that in a minute. Diki says, if you jump that dock with your boat, you land all the way up in the woods long. DK, only you would do that, buddy. Only you would do that. Masaka's asking, what do you like best? Russian fishing for? Fishing planet? The fisherman? Or the fisher online? Now, Masaka, that is a good question. That is a really, really good question. And Brian says, love DK. Well... 
I thought it was. I thought it was to be honest, which I always am, guys. Fucking on a black crappy, right? Okay. Let's try over here. Which I always try to be with you guys. I think, I mean, Fishing Planet is, is where I probably started in this game. So I think Fishing Planet would probably be would probably be number one. The Fisherman The Fisherman would probably be number one point five maybe because it's the same game but it's better because it, it's different economy and stuff. And then I think the Fisher Online would be my third best game and then Russian Fishing Four would be the next game after that one. If if that makes sense. But then I think Russian Fishing Four sometimes when I play that game, because it's technically a lot more challenging than, than these games, is is really good as well. I, I don't know, I, I think the three of them are, it's, it's difficult, it's difficult to, to kind of split it out like that, if, it, if you know what I mean, Masaka. It's definitely difficult. But Fishing Planet, Fisherman, Fisher Online is, is, is really got me hooked as well. I don't know, it's, it's, I think I've, I think I've answered your question in, in the right order. But all, f all three, or all four, are so good for so many different things, it's, I think Russian Fishing 4 would be the bottom of the pile, to be honest. Even though it's a lot more technical and I really like that game. Yes, yes, yeah, DK, yeah, definitely, buddy. Charles says then, then he would sell it so he doesn't have to repair it, yeah. You know, I think, I think, whoa, I think Russian Fishing 4 is, is really harsh. You know what I mean? It is, it is a harsh, harsh game. It's, it's so unforgiving if you've not got the right skill set to fish, you know, with that kind of rod or or, or fish. And I, and I think the the economy in it is is pretty shit. Whoa, that was, that was wild. And I think the repairing of your gear is, is harsh as well. It really is. It's like sometimes you're just fishing just to repair your gear. I mean, I, I mean, I've only fished that game for about six months, and and if it if it wasn't for skillful DTS one, then I, I would have given up on that game. To be honest, guys, I really would have. In fact, I did, and it was skill that got me back in it, and he gifted me so much stuff that that got me, that got me, you know, to to where I am today in that game. But oh, uh, it's. It's a hard game. It's a hard game to master. It's a hard game to play. It's a hard game to make money from. You've got to put a lot of effort into that game, guys. Whereas these games, like the Fisherman and Fisherman Planet, it's 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 a lot more arcadey, as I would say. It's a lot easier. So I can see from watching your your Twitch videos, seems 
like the fish are online is like a mix between yes it is Masaka stop it pumpkin seed give me a shiner it definitely is a mix between the two of them and that's what I like about the Fisher online it is it is a really good mix between the two of them you know it's Christ, no, trophy block crappy. I like the fisher online for I like the fly fishing. You know I, I fly fish here in Scotland. Yeah, that's probably about the only fishing I do. I do a bit of spinning every now and again, but not much, you know. I, I don't I don't do any bottom fishing or or anything like that here in Scotland. Uh, I either do a bit of fishing or fly fishing. And that's what I like about uh, the Fisher Online because the, the guys nailed it. And I, and I don't know why. I don't know why Russian Fishing 4 and Fishing Planet or the Fisherman doesn't have that uh, in the game yet. I mean, if, if one guy could do it and put it in the game, why can a whole team, you know, why can a whole team of guys between the two of them not do it? I, I don't understand that. Yeah, so you can use frogs and crayfish. I would only fish for... Yeah, I know what you like with soccer, yeah, buddy. But yeah, you can. You can fish for crayfish. You can fish for frogs. You can fly fish for the trout. I mean, that's what I do here in Scotland. Fly, fly fish for trout and salmon. And it and it's such a good game. It is. It is a mix between the the two of them guys. You know. I really do like the fisher online as well. But you know, going back to my love of fishing games, and and this is. It was it was Dart eight one three that got me started on this game on on Fishing Planet uh, a year ago past March. I saw him playing it. I mean, I, I used to play World of Warships. I I don't do it anymore. I, I don't know why, but I maybe should. I was watching one of his streams and he was like, he was all he was all wound up with World of Warships. And then he says, right, I'm, I'm going to chill out with some Fishing Planet. I was like, oh, okay, Fishing Planet, what's this game? And I, and I watched him for, for a couple of hours and I thought, ah, oh, I like the look of this game. Oh, it's a common shiner I need. And that was me, I was hooked. World of Warships is hard. It can be DK, it can be, buddy. Can be. I, th I do still like the game, though. I do like to play World of Warships. You know, I've not recorded it or or streamed it recently. I think my last stream World of Warships was a year ago with Skillful. Doing the, the Halloween mission. But I do still play it. I do still play, even though I, I don't, as I said. I can't believe how many trophy black crappies we've got today. Let's, let's try something else. But I do still like it. But it is, it, it is, you know, I think Fishing Planet, Fisherman, same game. You asked me as a has the best response and fighting system and rod and real mechanics. Yeah, yeah, Masaka. Yeah. I do like Fish and Planet. I'm still playing it. I do like the Fisherman. I'm still playing it. I do like the Fisher Online. I'm still playing it. I do like Russian Fishing 4, but I'm not playing it as much as a as I used to. So that, that kind of gives you a, an indication. I know Amber Lakes just came out on Fishing, 
uh, on Russian Fishing for me and Skill streamed it on uh, on uh, Sunday night on on Twitch, and and I, I did enjoy it while I was playing it. I kind of like them all equally, but my preferences are, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll probably be Fishing Planet, even though you've got them in marks there. The shit out of it. The fisherman is, is, is easy, is, it's not, I didn't mean it like easy, but it's it's easy on the player, you know what I mean? It's you don't have to min marks. But sometimes I, I, I don't I don't mind min marks in something, you know. But the Fisher Online is 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 good, it's a good game as well. And it's getting better. It's getting better. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. We said all our politics. That's another thing, Misaka. Yeah. We said all our politics for the with the Russian fishing for. It does look good, but extremely difficult to level up. It's not extremely diff difficult to level up. It's just a grind. You know what I mean? If you if you're into a grind. The thing with Russian fishing for is you need you need help. You know if you're starting off and stop it, crappy. Fucking deal with the crappies tonight, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. The thing that. Russian fishing for is 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 the price on gear and the price on repairing your gear. That that's what pisses me off with Russian fishing for. If if they drop that by even 10, 15, 20%, it would be it would be such a better game. Plus, if you go to buy something, it's out of stock. It's like what what? It's like, what? Why can it be out of stock? What the fuck is that? Did, you know what I mean? So then you've got to go spend more money to go somewhere else just to buy that and then go back again and spend more money to where you want to fish. That, that just, that doesn't compute with me. Yeah, everything out of stock, yeah, yeah, DK. And, and that's, that's, that's what pisses me off with Russian Fishing 4 is that it's a grind to level up, but yeah, okay, I'm quite happy to do the grind. <laughs> like Fishing Planet, it's a grind. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But to repair your gear on Russian Fishing 4, And the better gear you've got, the more expensive it is to fix it. And the time it takes to fix it. And then when you go to buy something, it's out of stock. What the fuck's up? You know, come on, come on, game. Out of stock. I've got money to buy it. What, what, can I not spend? No, you can't spend your money. Misaka says, I think Fishing Planet has the most realistic fish sizes. Yeah, yeah, Misaka, yeah, definitely. Well, DK, you should try fishing some more. No skill required, no course repairs, no. Guys, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend fishing some more. To be honest, I've, I've not played that in, in about a year. It was it was okay when it came out. It was like yeah, okay. I streamed it a few times, but 
In fact, there was one guy, one of, one of our guys in my streams that I used to speak to quite regularly. He asked me to start playing Fishing Some World again and I was like I was like, you know, yeah, maybe I will, maybe I won't. You know, I've, I've, I've got it installed, Mark, but I, guys, I don't see me playing Fishing Simulator. They've just got that game all wrong. That's just my view. In fact, if you go to Steam and look at the reviews, I absolutely slated it. And the reviews of one of the developers said to me, you know, look, do you, do you want to change your, do you, do you want to change your, uh, your review? And I was like, no, no. Yeah, you're right, you're right, Misaka, Cove, I am right, it's a simple game, you, you cross your cuts, yeah, yeah, buddy, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, fishing sim world, is not fish in some world. It's not a simulator, guys. It's more arcadey than, than fish and planet. <laughs> now just a blunt those men all right. One of these one of these guys after. Blunt those men out. What you want? Blood worms, red worms. Right, let's try some red worms. See what these fellas are hiding. I think they're they're just right about here. Hmm? <coughs> In fact, you know what? I'm gonna change hook size, guys. That's what we want for the old blood nose. Yeah, I mean, it's it's stupid because you could put fishing somewhere. Else. You, you, it should have been gated. You should. You shouldn't be able to unlock everything right at the kickoff. It's similar to your. Yeah, it was. It was just an update on Eurofish and Masaka. You're right, man. You're right. But it, it should have been gated, like like Fishing Planet, Fishing Similar, Russian Fishing Four. Because as soon as you join the game, you can go buy the biggest kit and the biggest gear, but the, the thing was, if you fish with the biggest gear and the biggest kit, or fish with the lowest gear and the lowest kit, you could catch the same fish, and it would be the same fight. It's always the same fight. It's just, it's a, it's a fishing simulator. No, it's, it's the worst out there, guys. It's the worst out of the out of the four fishing sim games that are out there. Yeah, Masaka, yeah. And it and then after that And then and then they had the the big thing about the, the pro tour thing, you know. But it's 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 an offline competition. It's like what? Well, I'm playing against bots. See, so you're playing against bots, so you know I, I did play fishing in some world, and I won some online competitions playing against real people. I won a couple of them, you know, and, and then they brought out oh, you know, fishing pro, pro some world. Yeah, but it's. You're fishing against bots. I was like, oh. I didn't even bother trying to do it. You know, I thought, oh, okay, all right, this is a bit new. Fish against other other people. You know what I mean? But no. Yeah, I mean, I, I did do the online comps. I did. They, they, they were okay, you know. 
but then it, then it got it, it got it got. It. I don't know. It was it was like the same. Everything just felt. Every time you played fishing some world, it, it just felt like you, it was the same. There was like nothing different, you know. Yeah, I think you're right, Masaka. I think Fishing Planet and the Fisherman are the are the most popular. Popular. Definitely, buddy. You know, ah, oh, jeez, I've had a few beers tonight, and I'm just kind of speaking my mind. You know, and that's that's how I feel about these games. Fishing Planet, Fisherman, definitely good games. Russian Fishing Four, definitely good game. The Fisher Online is is a is a cross between Fishing Planet and and Russian Fishing Four. I mean, oh, how do I get this blunt nose man off? But we'll be doing some back in the day. It used to it used to be a real good fishing game trophy boss. Okay, buddy. Well, guys, I'm off for the night. Going to watch a few movies with the lady. Take care. Have fun. Good night or good day. DK, thanks, buddy. Thanks always, DK. You're always welcome here, man. You take care, buddy, and have a good night. Don't sell anything, buddy. Don't sell anything. We'll catch you tomorrow, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to end the stream pretty soon myself. Is it getting a little pissed now? It's been fun, guys. It's been fun. I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed tonight. We've all got this fucking blunt nose man with the cats. Jesus. Let's try some. You know what? Let's try some. Oh, yeah, I'm using. I am using red worms. Okay. Not my red worms. That's it for this fella. Misaka says I've never got a blunt nose in Minowa Ernold. No, me neither, buddy. Me neither. But there, there's there's one guy on Fishing Planet that's making his missions up, isn't he? He's thinking, right, checkbox for that, checkbox for that, checkbox. And he's going, well, wait a minute. Blunt nose, blunt nose Ernold. Oh, I don't know about that. And then somebody above him says, yeah, check it, check it. All right, okay, all right, all right. I think that's what's going on here, guys. Hmm? Guess what I've got at Emerald? You'll never believe it, will I? <laughs> Brian saying, do oh, fucking hell, guys, here go, double balls, right, right, okay, right, right, I'll put double balls on Brian, right? Right, just just for Brian, just for Brian. There you go, doubles. All right, just for you, buddy. Got all your doubles. Hi, Drew. Welcome, buddy. Welcome back, man. <laughs> Saka says, "Lol." <laughs> Yeah, I'll not be I'll not be streaming much longer, guys. It's getting late. It's late here in Scotland. It's, it's about quarter to three in the morning. Where is that blood node minnows, Brian? Pumpkin seed. Have you tried them already? I missed it. 
fucking sort of government. No worries, buddy. No worries, man. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. The community's all good. It's all we're just, just chilling. Having a bit of fun. Wow, 3M and Lively in a lake. Yeah, I'm a soccer, yeah. It is just... Yeah, it's, it's 248 here, guys. And fucking freezing Scotland. Oh, man, it's cold, guys. It's freezing here in Scotland. Why is my barber heading off to the right? Now I got live bait on you, huh? No, I've got dough balls. Is there a is there a current here in Emerald that I don't know about? Brian saying, how do you heat your house go? We still have gas. It's it's gas. We've uh, gas spoiler, buddy. We got North Sea Goss here, guys. North Sea Goss. Goss with radiators, bud. I've got a big house, man. Big house. Big house here in northeast coast of Scotland. But not as big as these guys over in the... across the pond. It's a, it's a big house here for. I'm amazed that that, that bobber just went through all those lollipods there. It's 37 degrees here, it's it's like minus 5 here, buddy, at the moment. It's f yeah, we, we use Celsius here in, in the UK. Yeah, it's like minus 5 outside at the moment. 37 here Fahrenheit. Oh, that's fucking cold as well, buddy. Yeah, that's cold as well. Yeah, we're just waiting on the snow. Okay, so it's like minus 5, so 24 Fahrenheit, yeah. Yeah, it's cold. It's cold outside. It's a hard frost tonight, guys. Hard frost. There's no clouds in the sky. I can see the stars. I can see the stars out my window. Yeah, I got a lot of snow in Scotland. Yeah, yeah, we get a bit. We could get a bit. I can show you a picture if, if you really want to. Oh, here we go. Blood was my note. Nope. Another trophy. I can't believe that. I fished here for trophy black crappies. On some mission. I'll show you a picture. Wait a minute, guys. It was last year about this time. What do I want? I want this. Pictures. I don't know where it is. Got a lot, got a lot of pictures. I don't, 
winter. Here we go. No, it's not that one. That was the year before. find it right now guys no I, d I don't know I don't know where I've got it safe to Sorry guys, I, I can't I can't find them. There was pictures of Am I in the right place? I'm looking at No I, I can't I can't find it. Right, I'll give this Yeah, we do, we do. I hear there's a lot of kittens in Scotland. <laughs> kittens, not with you, Misaka. Not with you, not one, but it. They better off sick for it, yeah. Yeah, it gets fucking freezing here, guys. Let's see, let's see if we can make that picture again. Blood Rose Minnow. No, Pumpkin Seed. I don't think. Yeah. I can't find that picture, but yes, we do get a lot. Of... Don't go to Ellie Cove. Without your wife, I tell you, man, I lost Scottish men. Okay, my soccer. <laughs> oh, don't worry. 
Don't worry, buddy. I've only got one eyes, and that's that's for my missus. She's she's a star, guys. She's a star. Well, golden shine up. <laughs> Did I know that? No, I didn't, Misaka. I didn't, buddy. I didn't. Well, guys, I think I'm going to call it a day here. It's it's 3 in the morning now. Well, 2... 2.58, yeah. That's probably, probably pretty good. <laughs> guys. It's a, it's a pleasure as always. Hit the like button, that really does help me guys, it really does help me. And if you're new here, then subscribe guys. Till the next time, I'll catch you tomorrow. Darn blotting this minute, so well. Thanks for the stream, go Brian, Brian you're welcome. Guys, thank you, thank you, Misaka. Brian. <laughs> DK, Charles, I'm Dollar. Thanks, guys. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> it's a pleasure as always, guys. It really is. I'll see you tomorrow for some Hunter Call of the Wild. Take care, guys. Catch you next time. Good night.